needs to sit unto you. But you cannot bear them now. How many? When he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. For whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me. Now, this is Jesus speaking. Jesus said he will glorify me. He shall receive of mine and he shall show it unto you. All things that the Father had are mine. Therefore, says I that he should take of mine and shall show it unto you. God bless his word. Yes, now, what's your question on that? Now, my question is, he said Prophet Bama is um, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, now, I would like to know, if you are the Holy Spirit, how does it work? Why do you say Prophet Bama is the Holy Spirit? Why is the Holy Spirit not speaking to you? Because he says he will speak to you concerning the truth. And he shall tell you things which are to come. Now I have a question to ask you. Why is he not speaking to you concerning things to come? And if you look at the Bible passage, he says everything that belongs, belongs to him, Jesus, he shall show it all to you. Now, has Prophet Muhammad ever spoken to you or told you about Jesus before? Since you follow the Holy Spirit. Now, I got all your questions. You see, if you know, don't, don't, don't close up that, that verse. Go back to that John chapter 16. If you look critically, Jesus did not mention Holy Spirit in that portion. Check that verse 8 and 13. Read again. Verse 8, I say 8, I say 13. Yeah. And when he is come. Now, let us check in English language. Holy Spirit is evil. In the person. Yes. Is Holy Spirit a person? Why is Holy Spirit a person? Now. Because it is written of him that do not. You cannot look, you cannot use him, you use it. You yes. cannot use him for Holy Spirit. Although no, you use it for the Spirit. Yeah, you cannot use it. In English language, you cannot use it. What is the Bible? You cannot use it. You cannot use it. You cannot use it. But that's my power. Come back to that. Take it back from verse 5. What is the Bible? See it? Verse 5 is a car, right? Yeah. But now I go my way to him that sent me. She got this here. Me no so do anything over me. Yeah, continue. A lot of you ask me whether we that go as thou. Cause it's here. They can do it. You see, me they don't pay anybody. One more. Uh huh. Continue. But because I have said this thing unto you, she got it. Don't you mind it? So far, I for you. You ask me your heart. You don't care for me. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go for the that I go away. And for you, for for if I do not go away, the comforter will not come. That's one point. But if the condition is if Jesus will not go away. The only spirit will not come. All the two, this is not That's the interpretation. If you are still alive, there shall be no only spirit. Open Luke chapter 1. Don't close it. Don't close it. Look 1. Look 1. Just see from verse 35 and 35. Operations, operations. 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 Operations.
And so that's why I said he cannot be really straight. And he said, if I do not go, then you will not come. It's a man, and that's the Mohammed. Now he said, the Holy Spirit is perfect, Mohammed. Yeah, yeah. He came after Jesus. He cannot meet Jesus on earth, it's not possible. Okay, I want to prove it for you that perfect Mohammed is not the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's. Okay, let's look at the book of Acts. Okay. Now, the Bible says, no, use my microphone quite all right. Now, the Bible says, the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. But we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall become witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea. And all to the uttermost part of the earth. You are, you are mixing it together. I am not I don't tell you. That Muhammad is the Holy Spirit. This is just truth. You don't know my point. The spirit of truth. Not only spirit. Because you couldn't do chapter 16. And ask me. Is my Holy Spirit? That's why I say yes, but I know where you are going to find it. I know that's why I say is the spirit of truth, not Holy Spirit. There are two entities. All you can hear from the spirit of the truth. Like myself now. Every man has two spirits. Although just one. If you are an evil doer, you are the spirit of evil. If you are being good, you are the spirit of truth. So that's the difference. Not only spirit, spirit of truth. Okay, now. Not only spirit. Okay, now. Okay, now. He says. Okay, now, he says, he says, Prophet Muhammad. It's the spirit of truth. Yeah. That's why you said, when he, if you change your heart, you can't want to use the spirit of truth. Oh, no, if. When you see, for it. When it, you check it. When it, not me. I see it. Oh, what's your phone now? He says, he. Okay, praise the Lord. Ah, he said the Holy Spirit, Prophet Muhammad is the is the spirit of truth. Now I want to ask you a question. Who is the Holy Spirit? You see, Holy Spirit is the strengthening power of the prophets. God uses it to strengthen his prophets. Oh, no, 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 Okay, they are not. Okay, thank you. He says every prophet has the Holy Spirit. Yes, I am a prophet. I'm not a prophet. So there's nobody here that's no no prophet after Muhammad. No prophet. All the prophets are here. They are afraid. Muhammad is the seed and the last prophet. Oh no, no, this is the Lord. Yeah. No, what if we prove to you? Okay. What is now about what you have to use that? Even Jesus, the son of the living God. Another topic. I mean, topic to me is to go for the That is not the topic. I said another topic. Even Jesus, the son of the living God, which lives in me and lives in us. What if I tell you? But I have a proof to show to you now that Jesus, that you said is not coming, eh? 
We are that topic. I'm, I'm trying to tell you that that Jesus, that Jesus that you said is not coming. Yes. He will come. He will come. And he must come. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And he shall not speak of himself, but yes. whatsoever he hears, that he shall speak. Uh -huh. And he shall show you things to come. Continue. 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 He shall glorify me. Uh -huh. Jesus is continue. 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 For he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. Uh -huh. All things that the Father had are mine. Uh -huh. Then I will say, I, that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. Uh -huh. Yes, Master, for you. Continue. Continue. A little while you shall not see me, and again a little while and you shall see me because I go to the Father. Then he said of the disciples among themselves, What is this that he says unto us? A little while you shall not see me, and again a little while you shall see me, and because I go to the Father. A little while you shall see me, a little while you shall not see me. What does that mean? What does that mean? A little while you shall see me, a little while you shall not see me, and a little while you shall not see me. Okay. Let's make it like this. Uh, when Jesus died, okay. When Jesus died, uh, the where? on the cross. On the cross. On that topic. What you did? I did. I'm only on me. Me. You don't even know what. I mean, what did you do? When Jesus died, on the cross. Yeah. Jesus Christ said, "When you lift me up, I will drop myself. I will be to myself. I will draw all men to myself." I am hearing you. Now, thank you. Now, when did he drew himself from them? What Jesus Christ is trying to be in that place, or trying to summarize in that place? He said, A little while he shall see me. A little while he shall not see me. Now, Jesus Christ is trying to talk about him descending to heaven, or ascending to heaven. That is when they shall not see him. Then when the apostles and his disciples have been persecuted for Christ, for after they have died for saying the truth and doing what God asked them to do, okay. they shall come to meet Jesus. That is when they shall see him. Okay. That is, that's the answer to the question. Now, go back to John chapter 16. Verse 10. Yeah. Of righteousness because I go to the Father. And you also. Of judgment. Because the priest of this world is judged. No, you mean read that verse 10 again. Of righteousness because I go to the Father and you see me no more. Then when is he going back? And you see me no more. He will come very soon. You see me no more. Yes, yes, sorry. It's your no no. It's your little son of a bar. And you see me no more. You see me no more. Do you understand the kind of sin you are talking about? I don't know. What is it? What is this to me? 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 And understand. Okay. And another thing is to read okay. to pick points for What do you do? I know you know. I quoted it. Just in our priest to understand it. Yes, I want to understand. Let me hear you. you when see Jesus me is trying to say, You see me no more. Yeah. Yeah. He was talking about his flesh itself. Yes, you saw me when he was in the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. You see me no more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 If he comes back, she must be so much for day. You are not understanding me. Okay. You are not getting it. Jesus Christ is saying, okay. you see me no more. Me no more. Hey, you know? Because he is in the flesh. Now, when the Holy Spirit comes, you know? because Christ is in the flesh. So, you know what I am saying? You don't say you see me no more. Oh, yes. you know? Which means when he comes back, he will not come with flesh. He will come with spirit. Is that not? Yes, that is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, 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 wait. Oh. No. We'll get to it. We have to read it now. No. Jesus and Holy Spirit. Understand me. Is it Jesus? Who is coming back? Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Okay. Now, when he says his own spirit, 
He sent his own spirit into our lives to live as him. Okay. To live like him. Okay. Now when Jesus died, he released his spirit as I told you before. Okay. Now, 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 now. every believer has the Holy Spirit in their heart. Everybody. Every believer has the Holy Spirit in their heart. So when Jesus is trying to say, you see me no more, you are not seeing with your naked eye, because you are seeing him in the spirit. That is not for me talking about his coming back. That is not talking about rapture. When Jesus said, you see me no more, and he said he's coming back. How can he come back? How can you see me no more?
Why is Christianity all over the world? Yes, now I'm going to say respecting Jesus. I just hear it. I'm going to say respecting Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Acts. Why do you mean this? Why do you mean this? What's the thing? Christ said to his disciples, What's the thing? What's the thing? After he died. Yes, I do. And he told them, Be ye witness of me. Both in Judea. And even into the utmost parts of the earth. I'm coming. We have a problem here. The problem is when Jesus was in physical body. Commanded his disciples to go out of Israel. The Bible makes us to understand. The Bible said, The servant is not greater than his master. Thank you. Open Matthew chapter 10. Verse. The Bible says, there is no servant that is greater than the master. And in the Bible, the, the disciples of John the Baptist, they came to ask Jesus. When John the Baptist was arrested by Herod, they told Jesus, why isn't your disciples fasting like John the Baptist's disciples was fasting? Why did you do this? How many years? 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 Now, what are now, what's your point? Now, the Bible says, like you ask me now. The Bible says, go into the world. Why did you pay me for me? I don't see why. You don't get me. You say we have a problem. I like you. I like you. The problem is, you are putting after his death and resurrection. You are putting before death and resurrection. Okay. Before you can say, you will not go out of Israel. Don't even go to every Israelite. Go to the lost sheep of Israel. But when he died, I resurrected. You have to change his mind. You know why? Because that death is, is a controversial issue. A controversial issue. How was Jesus arrested? Jesus was arrested with his disciples. No, I said the process. In the Bible, there are many witnesses. Who showed Jesus to the enemy? Who showed Jesus to his enemy? According to the scriptures, that will make us to understand that it was Judas that sold Christ of the Sadducees. How was he arrested? That is what I said. And how, how does Judas go to do it? Or do it? Yes, uh, I, know, I know where you are going. Now let me go to where you are going. Okay. 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 There are like two things you want to see now. When you come to do that, yes, in your mind. You are reading my mind. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay let's see. If, 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 if it's, yes, right. We are, now, yes. you want to say one kiss. That is how he sold Christ. Is that not? And the other pointed. He spoke. Who? Christ. Christ. That is the John the Baptist spoke that look at him. And Christ said, Am I not the one you are looking for? Okay. Now, now how was he arrested? Only by the in the Bible which we read, what do you there are many witnesses. What do you what do you what do you in this place, if you ask, if you ask, if you ask, if you ask, don't let us agree because we, do, we have shot. Is it Judas 
that really shield Jesus to his enemy or Jesus shield himself. Yeah. So Christ. Christ is showing self. That's the point. Now let's go to John chapter, John chapter 19. John 18. John 18. John chapter 18. John 18. John chapter 18. Judas show Christ. John chapter 18. I thought you read my mind correctly. No, that's wrong. John 18, verse 4. Verse 4. Verse 4. Let's see. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, when he was received from the Lord, whom he is. Continue. He answered him, Jesus of Nazareth, said unto him, I am him. Who showed Jesus there? He showed himself, and also which which betrayed him uh -huh. stood with him. Yeah, he was he was, was seen as he had been kissed Jesus. He said unto them, uh -huh. I am he. Yes, they went backward and fell to the ground. To the ground. He now said again, then asked he them again, what do you want to see? He said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of I have told you that I am this and you Therefore you seek me. That the same might be fulfilled which you speak of them, which thou delivered me. I have lost none. Yes, sir. Who is she, Jesus? Jesus, in this place we left. Himself. Another point that you knew. Judas showed Jesus. Is that not? Now get it, sir. Okay. I understand you now. I'm getting what you're saying. What are you saying? The friend Jesus showed himself. Let us confirm how Judas kissed Jesus. And immediately while he yet speaks, Judas, one of the disciples, and with him a great multitude of people, and stars for the chief priests, the scribes and the elders, and he that betrayed him had given them a token, saying, Whosoever I shall choose. That same is he. Take him and leave him away. Save him. And as soon as he was come, he went straight away to him. And said, Master, Master, I kiss you. They laid their hands on him and took him. Jesus. Let me drop at 49. Okay. Okay, but 49. And they laid their hands on him. And took him. And one of them that stood by drew his sword. And he told not to one that I want. And smote the servant of the high priest. And cut off his ear. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Are you come out as a thief? With a sword with staffs to take me. I will delay with you in the temple teaching. And you to bring us for the scripture. Who should be Jesus? This place. Jesus showed Jesus. Jesus showed himself. Yes. Now, which now, is Jesus? Now, sir. In Revelation, that is. In Revelation, the Bible says, A virgin woman shall conceive of a son. 
and he shall be betrayed. And even Christ said it, he shall be betrayed of his own disciples. Now you know it. I'm coming, sir. I'm coming, sir. You know why? I'm coming, sir. I'm coming, sir. Let me finish. So he said it of his own mouth. No, no, no. In Revelation. No, not in Revelation. Now, in Revelation of the prophets of old, Isaiah, and now talking about Christ himself, saying in his own mouth that he is going to be betrayed of his own disciples. Which you know it, which is said in his mouth. Okay, this is what I I'm giving an example before, but you said you want to show me something in the Bible. Hey, no. Now look at the example. Now with the elders around this place now. Let me say this is Mr. Uh, Larry Jude and Okafo. Okay, Jude and Okafo. What Lange observed here is not what Jude is going to like. He would see Lange at your car for Lange over your house. Because he was present when it was happening. She goes, baby, I'm going to tell you. But you know you are destroying the Bible as you are talking about. You are telling me that the Bible is a mere eyewitness. What do you say? Let's be sad. Let's be sad. Now, now. Because what you what is what you are pointing out what you are talking about it's like here he said this and here no man now you are not here so that's what I'm telling you now okay that's what I'm giving you now okay now if Mr. A wrote an account to write an account thank you sir he had a different case he was not inspired God bless you so the next man there he was there, and now he read the Bible. But he read the Bible because he was not inspired. He was not inspired. And the third man there, and the third man too, he read the Bible, but not the same thing. No man, they were not inspired. He was not inspired. So, what was it? What was it? John is not inspired. You are not inspired. No, the your observations. Yeah, your inspired. Okay, observations. So what they observe. Okay. Give account of what you observe. Not that God revealed to them, sir. Not that they got any revelation from God. He's a man of this world. Yeah. In this Bible, only the Bible is written here. The Bible was written by the disciples of Jesus. How many years ago? This is not the revelation from Jesus. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? My question is, Mr. What is this? Are we now to believe that Judas betrayed Jesus? Yes. As we choose, he nearly kissed Jesus. Yes. And so we are going to rubbish the account of John. That I said Jesus showed him so. What you sorry for using this language, sir. What you have to understand is that uh, I'm sorry for using that. Language, sir. So what you have to understand was that even if you read this place carefully, why he said who you see, I'm the one. Because he said the sheep that his father had given to him. And if you look in the day of Pentecost, you see where they were able to feed the scripture. Why they were doing that? That's not the truth. What comes of that day was in John chapter 2. What do you do? It will not be fulfilled without the 12 being completed. No, no, no. Yes, that's not the meaning. It's in John chapter 2 and 28. It's in John chapter 2 and 28. That's where the prophecy comes. That is where it came from. But it could not be fulfilled until the 12. Our point is this. Are we to rub the account of John? Jesus showed himself. When Christ, when the 
the, the, the soldiers came to our side. The Bible says the ships captured the boat. That's normal now. Now you arrested the leader. Now it was even Peter, even the brother of Jesus, James, John. They were at the other side, That's normal. looking far away. That's normal. But when Christ saw that the soldiers are like harassing the disciples, he shook himself. He said, "I am him. Do not touch him." Jesus was standing. Stop Stop kissing him. That very story you are telling me now. Yes, sir. He said, Jesus, you are telling me the story of John now. Mm. That Jesus showed himself. Okay, was arrested twice. According to the observation of John. Of John. John. But that was Mark, was the real record. Sir, yes, sir. sir. Who was Mark? Who is, your, is he part of the disciples? Mark. Yeah. Mark is the disciple of Jesus. Part of the twelve. He's the disciples of Jesus. Part of the twelve. Yes, sir. sir. The twelve. Yes, sir. sir. Twelve. Mark is, is not among the twelve. Mark is not among the twelve disciples. I am saying, is he among the twelve? No, sir. Not among the twelve. Who is not closer to Jesus? To Jesus, John or Mark? Who was not closer? It was John the beloved. Thank you. Now, John now wrote a record closer to Jesus. You not tell me that that should be wrong. Even in that place, he was not close to Jesus. John, in the time of arrest, he was not close to Jesus. John is more closer because he's, he's one of the twelve disciples. He may be more closer. Then, where was Mark when he was being arrested? He's more closer than Mark? Yeah. He was not more closer. Then, how can he give that record to us and believe? Yes, sir. sir. Now, he's being given by the Holy Spirit. Not eyewitness. Yeah, Mr. Sir, sir, sir. How do you get that point? If you say, sir, how do you get that? How do I get that? Now it will reveal to Mark. All right. In the book of Second Timothy. Who wrote Timothy? Paul. Who is Paul? Among the twelve. Who is among the twelve? the disciples of Jesus. We are in the Bible. Is in the Bible. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Show me. Is in the Bible. Show me. Paul, disciple of Jesus. Paul. Oh, that is all that can be. Somalian, <laughs> You don't know. Yes, I love you. Yes, yeah, where? In the book of Acts of the Apostles. Yeah. Chapter 26. Chapter 26. Yes. Verse what? Verse 14 to 18. No, just read verse 14 and 15. Uh, I will read to 18 for more credit. Do you know why? Do you know why? No, sir. That account was not said by Jesus. Is it? It was said by Jesus. Okay, show me. Read. Okay. Now, this is the story of Paul. It was said by Jesus. Yes. That's what he meant. Very said by Jesus. Very. And when we, when we were all falling to the earth, we don't you understand? We don't. No, no, we don't. Don't worry, don't worry. When we were all falling to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me. Okay. I said to the Hebrew tongue, so so, why persecute thou me? Okay. It is hard for thee to kick against the priests. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. But arise, Jesus is his feet. Okay. But arise and stand on thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for the purpose to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee to people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. To open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, 
that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by the faith that is in me. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Open Acts 9. Act 9. Yeah, I was going to say. This one is clarified. No, it's not clarified. How to clarify that? For more than you ask the question. For more than you ask the For more than you ask the question. Acts 9, 3-7. Acts 9, 3-7. The question is, is it true that Jesus appeared to Paul, to Saul? That's the question. How many chapter will Paul? 3 to 7. 3 to 7. Yeah. And as he journeyed, he came near the Damascus. A sudden day shined around about him, a light from heaven. He fell to the earth and had a voice saying unto him, So, so, but he wrote thou me. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? The Lord said, I am Jesus, who thou persecuted. It is hard for thee to keep into this Continue. And he trembled and astonished, said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? The Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee thou must do. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Now, the question is. This Bible tells us now that Jesus met Saul on the way to Damascus. Verse 7 now said, Read it again, verse 7. The man who journeyed with him stood speechless. The men that were with him, that were sitting on that day, they were keeping silence. Hearing the voice. Which voice are they hearing? Hearing the voice. Which voice? Whose voice? Whose voice? Yeah, whose voice? The Bible says we were hearing the voice. And whose voice? That is the voice that Paul was hearing. We, who owns that voice? Jesus. Thank you. Now, which means everybody that was joined with Saul that day, we heard that Saul, 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 and others. Everybody had it. Is that not? Joining with him. Everybody, including Saul, they had the voice yes. of Jesus. Yes. Is that right? Yes. yes. Open Acts 22. Acts 22. Verse 9 to verse 6 to 9. Everybody had the voice. But the see no man. Yeah. There shone from heaven a great light around me, and I fell onto the ground and heard the voice sing unto me. So, 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 why persecute thou me? Uh -huh. And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. Uh -huh. And they that were with me saw indeed the light. And we are free. But they had not the voice of him that speaks to me. No, read that portion again. And, nice. and I said, What shall I no, do? No, nine, 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 nine. Now, and they that were with me saw indeed the light, and we are free. But heard not the voice of him that speaks to me. Do they have the voice or not? The voice of him that speaks to me. Do they have the voice or not? No, no. did they have the voice? Huh? Now, 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 let me go on. No, no, no. That line, I'm asking a question. Hmm. Do they have the voice or not? The Bible says, And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they had not the voice of him that speaks to They me. don't have the voice of him mm -hmm. that speaks to Go back to verse 9 7. Should I, should I come down? No, no, no. Do they have the voice or not? No. no. They don't. Yes, they go, do. Go to that 9 7. Okay. 
Chapter 9 verse 7. 9 7. Yeah, Act 9 verse 7. Okay, Act 9 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did not add the voice. I should have explained that and read down now. I know, don't worry, right. read this one. We'll okay. explain together. Act 9 7. 9 7. Okay. And the man who journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice. Was seen no man. Did you hear the voice or not? Hearing a voice. Who was seen no man. Whose voice? They were hearing. The Bible said they were hearing a voice. Whose voice? Seen, the voice of Jesus that did was speaking to them. Did they hear the voice or not? They had the voice. Go to twenty-two verse nine. Okay. Then we'll talk about twenty-two nine. Twenty-two nine. Yeah. They had the voice. Twenty-two verse nine. I fell upon the ground and heard the voice saying unto me, So, so, as you could help me, and I answered, Who thou, Lord, and he said unto me, Jesus, nine, nine, nine. And them that were with me saw so in the light, and they were afraid, but they had not the voice of him that speak to me. Do they have the voice or not? Now, can I? You can go anywhere. All right. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? The Lord said unto me, Arise and go. Look at the voice he was talking about. Whose voice? Now, hear the voice that he was talking about. Whose voice? The voice of Jesus. Then, did they have the voice or not? Now, hear the voice. Look at the two things. Okay. The Bible says, And he said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise and go into Damascus, and it shall be told thee of the things which are appointed for thee to do. Now, look at the voice they did hear. They didn't hear the assignment Christ gave to Paul. They didn't hear the assignment Christ gave to Paul. Sir? Read verse 22, 6 to 9 again. 22. Uh, that very portion you are reading. And they gave him audience unto the No, at 22, verse 6 to 9. Okay, up to the 2 verse. Verse 10 and 11 now. Again. And it came to pass that I made a journey and was come near to Damascus. Continue. To the Damascus, about noon, suddenly there shone a great light. The great, a there shone around about me. From heaven, a great light around about me. And I fell onto the ground and had a voice saying unto me, so soft as a good out me. You see, that is one so, voice. voice. Mm. First voice, uh, not second voice, first, first voice now, continue. Okay. And I answered, who art thou, Lord? He was responding to that voice. voice. Now, not the second one, the first one, mm -hmm. continue. And I asked, who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth. The same voice continues. Whom thou persecuted. Continue. Uh -huh. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid. But they had not the voice of him that speaks. Now, is he referring to the first and the second voice? Now, he's referring to this, the last voice. Ah, how can that be? Yes. First and foremost. Because it's what they Hey, Mr. Man, stay there. Yeah, yeah. Everybody had it and we look back. We stay. Okay, you go like that. That's another thing entirely. No. Okay, you know what? Go to that night again. So no, you are to you don't, you don't, have say, don't worry. Go to that nine again. Okay. Read from verse seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Chapter nine. Chapter uh, nine. Chapter nine. Verse seven, eight, nine to nine. Let's see. The men who journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing the voice, but seeing no man. Okay. And saw a rose on the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And and so, which means that scene is in two parts. So, you are not even telling him there. Sir? The voice they had, Jesus didn't continue as he continued in Acts 22. In this verse, uh, in this place. I didn't tell him to go to go here. Look at what he said. Verse 8 and 9. Let me go to 8 and 9. Uh, and he has saw a rose on the earth. Uh -huh. After the voice is finished. And now that first voice has finished. No second voice now. No. no, no, no. This is the last voice speaking. And no second voice now. There's no other voice apart from that last voice. That part, no second voice. Yes. The first voice, they all had it. Mm -hmm. And so, which means the second voice referred you now that they, they, they had that voice. You know what I'm saying? The same first voice. 
was the one between Acts chapter 9, verse 7, and Acts 22, verse 9. Another voice, not the fact two. Not the first voice. Mm -hmm. Abby? Mm -hmm. Now, here, yeah, the voice they had, is it different from that of 22? Now, this voice is hard. Mm -hmm. Is it different? It's not different, different from that of 22. Did you find a deficient in it? No, I didn't think the shit. You did? I was playing fine. Now just get my point. Let me just let me just get what I want. Let okay. Just, okay. okay. And the man who journey with his two speeches, yelling the void was seen no man, and saw a rose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was there in this when his eyes were opened. When it, I, this voice has already finished. And now the conversation is over. Okay. Now they led him by land mm -hmm. to Damascus, where they were going before mm -hmm. to persecute the Christians. Now the second voice. Now there's no second voice. Here. No, in Acts 22. In Acts 22 now. Yes. Which means from Saul was telling people that the first verse you had in Acts chapter nine. Different from this, is that not? The first verse in Act, uh -huh. in Act chapter 9, uh -huh. is not different. The one that differentiating it. Differentiating it. Open that to the two again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Are they... Verse 6 to 9. 6 to 9. Verse 9, verse 9, verse 9. Verse 9. Verse nine. I said, I, I said, and they that were with me, so he did the light. Now, the two things there. Light and voice. Is that not? Mm. Light and voice. Light came once. Mm. Voice came twice. Is that not? The voice came three times. No, twice. Three twice. Times. Three times. Okay, three times. Three times. Okay, they had one. They had one when they say so, 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 and they had one, I am Jesus, and the last one was the one when he was appointed. Now, are you not telling me now? Read that verse 9 again. That's the reader 9, reader 9, reader 9. Okay. If we explain, I'll explain. Oh, yeah. And they that were with me saw so indeed the light, and we have. Which light? Me. The light that showed. Once. Once. Then the light and the voice came together, is that not? Mm -hmm. You not deny that voice that came with the light. Am I getting you? Mm -hmm. You not refer to the last voice that came after the light. No, I don't deny, deny any voice. You did? No. Okay, read your verse 9 again. Okay, so just start to hear what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Then that with me saw so in the light. Light. And we are afraid. Then now, they saw the light and was afraid. Okay. But they, they hear not the voice of him that speaks to me. Speaks? That is past tense. Mm. Is that not? So now continues. Again. Now. Okay. Is that not continuation? Okay. What are you adding? Is that not continuation? Okay. Now, why, you, why, why do you have to use present for past? Past for present. Jesus, Paul said, they did not have that voice that says, so, so, what does you put it me? He now answered, who are thou, Lord? The commandment was had with everybody that was going with him. They had the voice and the conversation. That is finished already. He now continues with Jesus again. You now tell me that the first voice is relevant into this account. That the last one is relevant. Is that not what I'm telling you? Okay, sir. Because of that. Okay. I said this last voice mm. was an instruction given to Paul. And so he referred to the instruction before the instruction came. Now, is that not? He said, and they that with me had not the voice that speak to me. Which voice? 
the first or the last that spoke to him. A weak voice. The first or the last. The Bible says they had not the voice. Which voice? This voice that was targeting the appointment for the mission. No, that was Peter now. If God is commissioning you for a mission, you don't get say, oh, sir, sir, sir. that is later. Later. Yes. Something has happened already mm. to Saul. To, to soften his mind with that voice. Mm. Everybody were there. Mm. They did not have the commissioning voice mm. that commanded Saul to sleep off. Mm. They were now woke up. The commissioning now started. So the, the, the first one, you are not aware of it. Mm. So the second one, you are aware of it. Is that not? The it's first not possible one. now. The first one, the first voice. It's not possible. They went away. It's not possible. The second voice. The, the first voice they were aware. They were not aware. The first voice they were aware. They were not. They said they do not have the voice of the one who was speaking to me. Mm -hmm. But in, in nine seven, they had the voice. Sir. But they see no man. Sir. Sir. Um, like I said, because okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. If we should get to understanding of this place, I would like to bring to your understanding of solving for you. Okay, no problem, problem, problem. Uh, I would like to bring to your understanding where I said this voice. Uh, let me use it. Let me put it like this. And you are speaking to me. I will be at three here. Okay. And I'm talking to you, but they are now you are you are talking to me and they are yelling. I'm asking who are you? But they are yelling me. You they are all yelling. But in that day, when you were targeting it, it's the thing of the spirit. Except it's being given utterance to you for here, you can't hear. Except it's being given utterance, you cannot receive. So the utterance was not given to them to hear their pointing voice. You don't know the scene. You are not getting it. I said, that verse 9 said, those that were with me. Go no, read that verse 9 again. Okay. Get okay. me. And they that were with me saw indeed the light. They saw so that light and they were afraid. Eh? But they are not the voice of him that speak to me. Is it the two voices or which one? Which one? You didn't, they don't hear. Which one? All right, sir. This voice. The last one, not the first one. The last one. Show me where they had the first one in that account. In this account. And show me where they had the first one. In every place you have been able to put it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Wow. Do you know what happened? Remember, where you are reading is a direct speech. This is the one. The first one is in direct speech. Mm. As I made my journey, look at this. Uh, yeah. The second one, as he was mm -hmm. going, that's the two differences. Mm -hmm. You see, when you get to go and read from verse chapter 21, what happened is this Saul was arrested by the Jews to be crucified by the Greeks. Saul now said, the judge now said, who are your witnesses? If truly you, you met Jesus and you were going to Damascus. He now said, really? Those that were there. Meanwhile, as the apostle was sitting for Luke, Luke wrote the account. Luke was not part of those that were joining with him that day. It was so that gave the first account to him and he wrote it down. That as he... When he was at the chamber in law court, he now said, Who are you? He said, No, as I made, he was given a report, as I made my journey, nobody had the voice. He was trying to get himself. Yes, sir. That you right. But because of time, because they are. They are asking me to. There was no question. Now, this is my own question because I was. I was so, my question is, if you, I believe that you are a servant of God. Of course, a slave. A slave. Yeah. The prisoner of God. Yeah. As you too. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We are slaves of God. We are not yes. sons. Yes. yes. How can we say yes? We are, are sons of God. We are slaves of God. We are servants of God. No. We are prisoners of God. We are sons of God. How can you be? How can you qualify to be three? That is another no. topic for another day. Okay. 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 So. so, so, so. I, I just only have one question. I have questions, but one question okay. we do for today. May I marry you? That the man of God, and your God is a powerful God. Yeah. And I have the Holy Holy Ghost. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost. Have you Holy Spirit? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Oh, everybody has this now. Now, the way you were explaining the Holy Spirit, you said the Holy Spirit was the one that empowered the servant of God. The messengers of God. The messengers of God. Yeah, prophets. That, that, that's I'm not a prophet. I am not a prophet. But you are a messenger of God. Yeah. Now, Jesus Christ said, now, if God says, God sends you. So it's a God sent you. You are fulfilling your destiny. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that is it. That's what I want to get. You are fulfilling your destiny. Yes, now. And as a slave of God, a servant of God, you do what God asks you to do. Has no power of his own. You have no power of your own. Yes, now. Except the power that is given to you from our own. Of course, of course. Now, what if you preach to somebody about your God and the person receives you not? Because why he has idols that he serves, and those idols show you signs, yes. show you power. Yeah. And I believe that your your in your Quran, the 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 Quran talks about. I don't know if it talks about power that God gives his servants, even his servant the prophet. Okay. I don't know if it talks about that. Of course it does. He talks about it. And you now, as a servant of God, because Apostle Paul said, These are my testimonies I have in the ministry. Apostle Paul called himself a slave. He called himself a prisoner. Continue, continue. He didn't call himself a prophet. Continue, who, who but himself. in the character of Apostle Paul, and you can bear witness. You can bear witness. Now, what? The Bible said, to them that receive it, who are not going there, those quoting. To them that receive it, he gave them power to be called the sons of God. I'm that is the account of John. Not going there. Mm. So, 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 as a servant of God or a messenger of God, okay. what are the testimonies of the miracles, the deliverance, the healing that you can share to us about the signs that your God has shown to you? The world. Open Matthew chapter 12. Matthew 12. Verse 38 and 39. Talks about miracle. Signs. Yeah. Matthew 12, verse 38 and 39. Okay. Matthew 12. 8 and 39. Matthew. Then Satan, scribes and values, Jesus are saying, Master, we would see a sign for thee. Perform miracle unto us. But he answered and said unto them, and if you are a daughter generation, if you generation seek it after some, thank you. And there shall no signs be given it to the to That's us. enough. But the signs of the prophet Jonas. I mean, I know that. For Jonas was born. Now, you are asking me signs. Yes. Jesus said, evil generation. A adulterous generation seeks for signs. For sign. mm -hmm. Are you an evil man? Mm -hmm. Wow. wow, 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 wow. Jesus wow. said evil. Yes. yes. Are you evil generation? Yes. Evil generation. Okay, you are part of evil generation. Yes, you too. Because we are not. No, no, we are the last days. days. No, I'm not saying we're giving miracles. Sir, are we in the last days? Yes or no? No. We are not in the last days. We are not. Is this world going to end? Of course, but not now. Not ah, now. thousands of years to come. Who told you we are the last days? Who told you that? But I, I don't know, have you heard the Bible? What, what happened today? 
what is happening today has happened years back. Yes. Before we arrive now. Yes. And so it will still continue to happen. That means the world is not going to end. It's going to end. So when what, what are the signs? What are the look at this now? What's the the single sign is this. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Signs, just one sign. During the time of Adam, people lived 930 years, 800 years. Is there anyone today that can live 200 years? Or 150? There is. Where? There is. Where now? Mention one. I am a 200 old man or woman. No, no, he said, as any got into 150. You don't get stressed. I said, during the time of Noah, Abraham and others, people lived 800 years, 900 years, 1,000 yes. years. Yes. I now said, now, in our own days, can somebody spend such years before he died? He was 200. Now, now let me ask you, why can't we spend those years? Because the world is diminishing. It's going to an end. It's going to the time end. will come that the most oldest man will be 40. Mm -hmm. Then 30, the oldest. Then 10. Then 5. Then 1. Then gone. How do you know? No, from, from history now, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can do that. You can't just do that now. No. How do you do it? No, you don't do it. We can only live longer. Now, there are people living now. That even there are years. It's a lie. Now, I don't know if you believe me. I don't, I don't know if you believe me. I will not believe you, but it's a lie. But there's a man who, there's a man who, and Osho states, Osho states, and Osho states. Even when Babaji did, Babaji did, he left, he left 127 years. It doesn't matter, I said 200. He can't even live to 150. He can't live to 150. But there's a prophet that is over 210 years in Russian state. It's a lie. Now, capital lies. If that's why I say, I'm sorry. That's why I say, can you believe me? Wait now. No, that's why I say, can you believe me? Okay, as you are, as the technology is now, won't he be a celebrity for the world to see? We don't know him. It's not air. I will believe it. And I will be happy enough to publicize such man. Is it only when you see him? No, you need to believe because the world is diminishing. No, is it only when you see him? Die until when I see him? No, no, it's no. no. Is it only when you see him? No, that age, that diminishing age until I see I believe. 200 years is not possible. But, but do you know what, what the Bible said about such people? That are only see for the believe. Don't get what I'm saying. I told you the word will diminish. It's not possible. It can be done. It's not possible. It's not possible now. Well, what's your question? Oh, bless God. Okay, who has another question there? Praise the Lord. He said, he was asking you about, he was telling you about, your own God, who is Alabi, yeah, and, hey, yeah, and yeah. Prophet Muhammad. So, no, so, no, yeah. Now you were telling me that if Allah be God, mm -hmm. as you claim to be, yeah, he is. As you say he is. Of course. Now I want you to prove to me that Allah is God. No, me, I can prove to you that Jesus is God. Okay, okay, prove to me. I'm not going to go through you two words now. We are going to go through science and power. Oh yeah, yeah, let's see. Should we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's see. Okay. Let's see. Um, do you have any person that is late? Ah, I'm talking about it. Enter my duo. If it are there, I'm not yummy. Okay, one to make an agreement. I appreciate agreement. 
would in a time of Elijah. Okay. When Elijah was speaking to the prophet of Baal. Of the 
I'm coming, I'm coming. With Agent Polo, I'm coming now. We've agreed that we have three miracles to perform tonight. Very. One of the three. One of the three. This bread should turn to at least 1,000 breads. Or this my water into wine. Uh -huh. Or straighten this leg to normal. Uh -huh. Any of the three. Uh -huh. If he does any of the three, I'm going to become a Christian. And every one of us. Now, if you are 